Hello everyone, welcome to Lillian Flavor. Um, for today I just want to talk to you and show you step by step how I'm gonna make my boiling chicken which is the hot chicken with the maru seed which we got just here. Um, for the chicken I've um, marinated it with some ginger, some um, garlic, some chicken seasoning and some nutmeg and some onion so the chicken is um, all marinated and I'll boil it for 45 minutes to an hour um, to get it to get tender and then while I'm boiling it I'm gonna pound my marrow seed mixed together with garlic onions and um, spring onion so I'm gonna pound it all here in my old-fashioned mortar and pesto so and then I'll show you the result I'll make the marrow seed into uh, balls little ball and then I'll boil it separate but I'll show you the result um, as I'm doing it step by step so for now I will get my chicken ready okay now after 45 minutes to an hour the chicken is ready it boil as you can see I'm not gonna fry it because we're trying to avoid all this um, oil so it's nice and brown um, I'll leave it aside and then onto the same pan where I was um, boiling the chicken you can see the gravy sauce over there um, and some um, oil that's been released from the chicken what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put some tomatoes and some spring onion and celery to make my sauce okay so I don't need to make a separate um, um, sauce into another pan I'll just use the same pot okay so we chuck everything in there and then leave it to boil for another 30 minutes 45 minutes and then we mix the chicken together so here's the chicken nice and tender now back into the maru seed I in Bika I've pounded everything, my onion, my garlic, my spring onion and pounded it together with um, the marrow seed um, I in Bika. So you just want to pound it to the point where you can see the glow. Can you see that glow? It's kind of like shimmering. That's um, the marrow seed releasing some oil. So when you reach to that point, you need to stop pounding and that's, um, that's already, you don't want it to release a lot of oil so you just want it a little enough just enough to to get you cooking you don't want a lot so you can see the shimmer is glowing now i'm gonna make it into little balls like this and when i finish then i will put it into the hot water and boil it and then i'll show you um afterwards okay i'll just make it into balls now the maru seeds are ready, so I've made it into little balls. Now the water is ready, it's just to that point of starting to boil. So I'll be putting it one by one, just like that, for it to boil. So there you have it so um, we're gonna leave it to boil for an hour until it cooked through inside so and then we'll check it when it cooked and we mix it together with the chicken and this two sauce is well there it's looking nice so that's cooking nicely and the marrow seed is just starting to boil now so I'll leave it to boil for one hour and then I'll show you the final result when both the chicken and the marrow seed are in Bika are mixed together to make that um, marrow seed and chicken stew, i.e. Bika and chicken. Right, thank you. After one hour, the, mar the marrow seeds are ready. As you can see, I made it into um, little 
balls so to get that um you saw the mixture earlier that uh, i pounded it with garlic spring onion and um, some onions together and i just forgot to say that to get this result you should not put oil um if you want to make the balls like make them like meatballs so don't put um, salt because the salt will just crush it and make it all dissolve so you pound it without salt but um keep your ingredient fresh just like i did um and if you're gonna use um add ingredient make sure they don't have salt so now that it's ready it's nice and cooked uh, inside i'm gonna mix it into here into my sauce you can see this thing there we are my my sauce is nice and ready i'm gonna put the marrow seeds in and with the chicken so and then cook it for another 10 15 minutes and then i'll show you the results once again all right so there we are getting towards the end now there's the chicken and um, marrow seed i.e chicken and bika already um, so after two hours i'll say it's all cooked and nice and ready and the the marrow seed it's well formed into balls so that's um, a job well done there so this is one of the oldest recipe actually my mom used to make so yeah and one of my favorite that's how i like to have the marrow the marrow seeds so like um, little meatballs okay so i hope you enjoy following me and then you can follow it at your own time and try to cook it um, step by step thank you there we are all done nice lovely gravy sauce there yeah. all done